फोर रेज टू दावर एक्स माइनस फोर रेज टू दावर वाई इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी एट एंड टू रेज टू दावर एक्स प्लस वाई इज इक्वल टू थर्टी टू वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई सो लेट्स ट्राई लेट्स फोर रेज टू दावर एक्स माइनस फोर रेज टू दावर वाई इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी एट इज इक्वेशन वन एंड दिस इज इक्वेशन टू सो फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन टू टू रेज टू दावर एक्स प्लस वाई is equal to 32 we can write it as 2 raised to the power x times 2 raised to the power y because a raised to the power m times a raised to the power n is equal to a raised to the power m plus n so 2 raised to the power x plus y we can write it as 2 raised to the power x times 2 raised to the power y is equal to 32 and let's consider 2 raised to the power x is equal to a and 2 raised to the power y is equal to b in that case we can write it as a times b is equal to 32 let this be equation 4 now from equation 1 4 raised to the power x minus 4 raised to the power y is equal to 48 this we can write it as 2 raised to the power 2 then whole raised to the power x minus 2 raised to the power 2 whole raised to the power y is equal to 48 now if a raised to the power m then whole raised to the power n we can write it as a raised to the power n whole raised to the power m so let's write it as 2 raised to the power x then whole raised to the power 2 minus 2 raised to the power y and whole raised to the power 2 is equal to 48 now this is in the form of a square minus b square which is equal to a plus b times a minus b let's use this formula so we can write it as 2 raised to the power x plus 2 raised to the power y times 2 raised to the power x plus 2 raised to the power y is equal to 48 now we have considered 2 raised to the power x is equal to a and 2 raised to the power y is equal to b so let's put it here as a plus b times a minus b is equal to 48 let's square both the sides so it will be a plus b times a minus b whole square is equal to 48 square now this we can write it as a plus b whole square times a minus b whole square is equal to 48 square a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab and a minus b whole square is a square plus b square minus 2ab is equal to 48 square now if now if we consider a square plus b square as x and 2ab as y then it is in the form of x plus y times x minus y and this means it is in the form of x square minus y square so we can write it as a square plus b square then whole square minus 2ab whole square is equal to 48 square so a square plus b square then whole square minus now from equation 4 ab is 32 so let's put the value of ab 2 times 32 then whole square is equal to 48 square or a square plus b square then whole square 32 times 2 is 64 so this is 64 square and when you send it to right hand side it will be 48 square plus 64 square now 48 square is 2304 plus 64 square is 4096 or a square plus b square then whole square if we square root both the sides 2304 plus 4096 is 6400 then square root this square root and square gets cancelled so a square plus b square plus minus 80 square root of 6400 is 80 so plus minus 80 now there are two solution it is either positive 80 or negative 80 we know that a is a positive integer and b is a positive integer so a square plus b square must be positive so you cancel out the negative one so a square plus b square is equal to 80 let this be equation number 5 now we have this formula a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab so a plus b whole square we put the value of a square plus b square from equation 5 that is 80 plus 2ab the value of ab from equation 4 that is 32 so a plus b whole square is equal to 144 let's square root both the sides 
So this square root and square gets cancelled. So a plus b is equal to plus minus 12. Again a and b are positive integers. So a plus b must be a positive number. So a plus b we remove this minus. So a plus b is 12. Now let this be equation 6. Now again we know that a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square is equal to 4ab. Let's put the value of a plus b. a plus b is 12. So 12 square minus a minus b whole square is equal to 4ab. Value of ab is 32. So 12 square is 144 minus a minus b whole square. 4 times 32 is 128. Or if we send numbers to one side, it will be a minus b whole square is equal to 144 minus 128. If we square root both the sides, it will be 16 square root. This square and square root gets cancelled. So a minus b square root of 16 is plus minus 4. Again, we cancel out the negative solution. So a minus b is equal to 4. This is equation 7. Now we have a plus b is equal to 12 from 6 and a minus b is equal to 4. So let's add equation 6 and 7. So a plus b is equal to 12 and a minus b is equal to 4. So plus b minus b gets cancelled. 2a is equal to 16 or a is equal to 16 upon 2 and this is 2 times 8 is 16. So a is equal to 8 and if we put the value of a here, a plus b is equal to 12 and b is equal to 12 minus 8 is equal to 4. So we have now a is equal to 8 and b is equal to 4. Now we considered a as 2 to the power x is equal to 8 or we can write it as 2 to the power x is equal to 2 raised to the power 3, 8 as 2 raised to the power 3. Now if a raised to the power m is equal to a raised to the power n and a is not equal to 0 or plus minus 1 then m is equal to n. So bases are same. So x is equal to 3. Again b we considered b as 2 raised to the power y is equal to 4 or 2 raised to the power y is equal to 2 raised to the power 2. So y is equal to 2. So this is our solution. x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 2. So the value of x and y is 3 and 2. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.